The door of government has been slammed shut in the face of the average citizen, and instead of information on why decisions are made, he has handed the latest public relations gobbledygook. Executive privilege is now being used to shield a White House counsel from testifying not about his conversations with the President, but about his alleged involvement in the planning and cover up of a criminal conspiracy. And the President has avowed that executive privilege will not be used as a shield to prevent embarrassing information from being made available to Congress, but the cloak of secrecy thrown around the Watergate affair, the ITT antitrust settlement, and the Russian wheat deal suggests the contrary. And the list of instances of executive withholding of information from Congress compiled for these hearings show the President's assertion that executive privilege was used on only three occasions to be a gross understatement. Executive privilege is a constitutionally founded, historically accepted, and vital principle of American government. At the same time, we recognize that this separation of powers prerogative should be exercised in restrained fashion in order not to needlessly bar the flow of information relevant to legislation. <clears throat> Indeed, this administration has adopted and honored stringent guidelines to prevent such occurrences, and it will continue that policy. Insofar as the current executive legislative relationships takes on a sharper edge because of Watergate, it must be borne in mind that determination of alleged violation of the criminal laws passed by Congress is uniquely the province of the judiciary. For crime, there can be no haven, and the White House has stated that even the President's closest personal aides will respond to grand jury inquiry. <clears throat> 